third system, 3D Ground Scanner. When the system is selected, an interface will show two scan scopes to choose from, device and tablet. The device option displays the results on the device screen directly, while the tablet option interfaces with Ajax Analyzer to provide more comprehensive scan and 3D views. Balance Indicator This indicator takes its value automatically after doing the initial ground balance upon accessing the system. Manual adjustment can be done by moving the cursor and increase or decrease the balance value with the up and down keys to get an accurate balance with the scan area ground. An automatic value can be obtained for the ground balance indicator by pressing the OK key. Ground balancing the image scanner sensor. After selecting the scanning system and setting up the parameters, the device will prompt connecting the imaging scanner sensor with the main unit, then the ground balance interface will show. Align the imaging sensor so it is parallel to the ground surface and press the grip key on the main unit constantly while moving over the scan area for 10 seconds. A chime will be heard indicating the completion of the ground balance process. First, scanning with the device. There are multiple steps that should be made prior to initiating the 3D ground scanner. A. Scan mode. The options interface shows two scan modes, automatic and manual. The difference is that the automatic mode takes the readings without the need to press the grip key, where the manual mode requires the user to press the grip key to obtain a step reading. B. Scan path. It can be set in one direction, where the user scans the columns from the bottom to top. The alternating path scans the first columns from bottom to top, then the next from top to bottom, and so forth while maintaining the same orientation. C. Scan step. Sets the intersecting lines to form a grid covering the scanning area. The intersecting lines form individual cells in the size is 30 by 60 cm. The forward step during the scan process should not exceed 30 cm, and the sideways step between columns should be 60 cm, which would give a cell size of 30 by 60 cm. Here is an example. Set the device at 10 rows and 5 columns. To get the scanning area in square meters, do the following calculation. 30 by 10 rows equals 300 centimeters, 3 meters in length. 60 by 5 columns equals 300 centimeters, 3 meters in width. So the overall covered area according to the given parameters is 9 square meters. D. Start point. Sets the starting corner of the scan, which gives the user the comfort of use with both hands, or the scan location might not allow starting from one of the directions. For example, select starting from the right. Once all the parameters are set, the system proceeds to the ground balance interface, which explained earlier. After completing the balance process, the system shows the scan interface with an empty grid. How to work and scan with the system Once all the system parameters are set, get ready at the starting point and press the grip key to start the scan process. Press the grip key once and start walking in equal steps, and press the grip key after every step if the manual mode was selected to capture readings at every cell. But if the automatic mode was selected, then match the steps to the audio signals from the device. Note that, when working with this system, the user must follow the scan path that was selected either one direction or alternating, and moving to new columns when the current is finished, which is indicated by a chime informing that the column is filled. Continue with the same procedure until the scanning grid is filled completely. Note, the user should follow and comply with the selected parameters and settings to get accurate and ideal results. Second, scanning with tablet. Connect the imaging scanner. Select tablet scan from the 3D ground scanner. 
set the scan parameters as needed. Do a ground balance over the scan area as mentioned earlier. Once the ground balance process is over, wait for the data to be processed and turn on the Bluetooth if it is off. A window prompting the connection to the tablet shows next. On the tablet, go to Settings. Go to Connections. Turn on Bluetooth. If it is the first time connecting the device to the tablet, a pairing process is needed. Search for nearby devices and wait for the device to be listed in the available devices list. Tap on Ajax to pair it. Enter 1, 2, 3, 4 as a Bing code. Once the pairing process is done successfully, launch the Ajax Analyzer app. Tap the Connect button at the upper left corner and wait for the connection to be established. A window prompting the start of the scan shows. Start the scan process with the selected parameters. When the scan process is finished, enter a name for the scan at the upper right box and tap Save. Specific scan values can be filtered out of the display by the buttons on the right. Default shows the full scan date. Remove Metal shows the scan data and filters out the metal values. Remove Caves shows the scan data and filters out the cavity values. Filtering The visualization can be smoothed using the filtering feature to show a gradient view of the scan. To show a specific cell value, use the arrows to locate it. The cell values are shown on the right. Direct input for the cell position can also be made at the bottom of the right. Enter the row and column, then tap Go to locate the cell directly. The 3D plot shows a three-dimensional surface representing the scan data values. Different views can be selected from the right, as filtering out metals or caves values. Swipe over the surface for a custom viewing angle. Details show the scan information, including the scan parameters selected by the device. Scan date, scan direction, overview of the values and the scan location. The scan location is not stored by default. To store the location of the scan, enable the location services from the settings in the tablet and tab on Show, Refresh Current Location. Save the scans shows a list of the scans stored for review and analysis. The tablet scan is identical to the device scan but features an easier interface with a clearer representation and enables the user to scan a larger area of ground.